be a millionaire live trivia show. My name is Genevieve and I'm delighted to be here with you because international variants of this game show has been aired across 130 countries worldwide. And today you're just 15 questions away from sharing our grand prize 1000 euros. So the rules are very simple. You're going to have 15 questions and four possible options to choose from with 15 seconds to try to guess that uh, right answer. So choose the right answer and take a step closer to equally share a grand prize 1000 euros. Also, if you're not sure the right answer, you can use one of the two lifelines. Choose 50-50 and uh, you, we're going to take two the wrong answers away or you can ask the audience and uh, you're going to be able to see what other players are choosing for their answer. So, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully this question is going to be fairly easy. Wish you good luck. So you know the rules, you know the lifelines. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Let's have a look at the first question of the show. So, in an Olympic medal ceremony, who stands on the highest point of the podium? Is it bronze medalist, gold medalist, TV cameraman, or a silver medalist? Well, what do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Well, hopefully the first one is a fairly easy one, right? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's see. The right answer is B. Gold medalist, of course. So, a lovely job. All of those who answered correctly, let's have a look at the second question of the show. Good luck to you. What's the national summer sport of Canada? Is it A. Lacrosse, B. Crickets, C. Baseball, or D softball a b c or d is that your final answer well let's have a look ladies and gentlemen you ready to find out the right answer to the second question is a it's lacrosse lovely job we have 1131 players still in fighting for the grand prize let's have a look at the third question what color stripes are on the home shirts of Atletico Bilbao. It's green and white, blue and white, red and black, or maybe think it's red and white. Well, final seconds are ticking. Good luck. Well, the third question's correct answer is D. It's red and white. So lovely job. All of those who got this one right, you are definitely stay, taking one step closer to a grand prize, 1,000 euros. Good luck to you. Which of these horse races is held in every September at Doncaster? The Everest, the Saint Leger, the Oaks, 2,000 guineas. Well, what do you think? Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a look at the right answer to the fourth question, and it is B, Saint Leger. So 658 players are still in. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a look at the fifth question. Good luck to you. Which of these objects thrown in Olympic athletics weighs the least? A, shot, B, discus, C, javelin, or D, hammer? A, B, C, or D? All right, guys, you ready to find out? The right answer to the fifth question is C, it's javelin. So lovely job, ladies and gentlemen. Five questions done. Don't forget about light plans, 50-50, or ask the audience. What nationality is prominent European goal scorer Hakan Sukur? Turkish, French, Russian, or Israelis? Well, maybe the name uh, tells in front of you guys what could be the right answer. Well, you're ready to find out. Definitely intrigued to see how many of you got this one right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's a Turkish. There's still 480 players fighting for the grand prize, equally sharing 1,000 euros. Good luck. The seventh question. 
Which of these snooker players became known by the nickname Interesting? A. Alex Higgins B. Steve Davis C. Stefan Hendre or D. Cliff Thornburn Well, final seconds for your answer. Good luck. Ah, some of you are saying it's an easy one. <laughs> I sure hope. Let's see the right answer, ladies and gentlemen, is Steve Davis. So, a lovely job, all of those who got this one right, guys. Now we're getting in the middle there. Eighth question of the show. Good luck. Which of these sports is not part of the modern man's pentathlon? Fencing, archery, shooting, or a 3200 meter cross country run? A, B, C, or D. What do you think? Well, I'm intrigued to see the right one. Let's have a look. Ladies and gentlemen, if you chose B, archery, very well done. Congratulations, B is the right answer. And still 231 players fighting for the grand prize. All the best. Let's have a look. At which horse racing venue are the Rowley Mile and July courses? Epsom. Newmarket, Goodwood, or Doncaster? A, B, C, or D? What do you think? Well, ready to find out the ninth questions. Correct answer is B, Newmarket. So, lovely job. Congratulations, guys. Are you ready for the tenth question of the show? Don't forget about Lifelines as well. All right, Francois. Pinar is a famous name in which sport? A. Rugby B. Golf C. Football or D. Netball Well, final seconds for your answer. Good luck. All right, intrigued to see how many of you got this one right. Ladies and gentlemen, the right answer is... A, it's rugby and 211 players still fighting for the grand prize equally shared 1,000 euros. Good luck to you. At the 2012 Olympics, which events took place at Eton Dorney? A, archery, B, triathlon, C, swimming or D, rowing? Well, what are you thinking? I know you... Oh, you think you know this one? I sure hope. <laughs> Let's have a look. Ladies and gentlemen, the right answer is... D. It's rowing. Congratulations! All of those who got this one right. Well, guys, if the question's getting a little bit harder, don't forget about lifelines too. How high from the ground is the rim of base basketball hoop in NBA? 245 centimeters, 275 centimeters, 305 centimeters, or 335 centimeters. Well, is that your final answer? Well, I'm intrigued to see. Ladies and gentlemen, the right answer is C, 305 centimeters. So 173 players still in. Guys, what do you think? Can you manage to get to the end? Three more questions. Good luck. Who was also known for the scissors kick, which he would do at midcourt after winning matches? Mark Philippoussis, Marit Safin, Piotr Korda, and Stefan Edberg. What do you think? Well, guys, let's have a look. The right answer to the 13th question is it's C, Piotr Korda. 74 players still into the show. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a look at the 14th question. Which of these is a legendary tennis player? Pete Rose, Pete Wentz, Pete Roddick, or Pete Sampras? A, B, C, or D. What are you thinking? Final seconds. Some of you... Okay, Roberto, let's find out the right answer. It's D, Pete Sampras. So all of those who got this one right, awesome job. But now, are you ready for the final question? Let's have a look. Who won gold in men's Super G at the FIS Alpine Works Ski Championships 2015? Axel Lund Swindell, Marcel Hersher, 
Hans Reichelt or Gietil Hansrud. Well, I definitely want to see how many of you are going to be equally sharing that 1,000 euros, guys. And the right answer is Hans Reichelt. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. We got 30 players sharing equally 1,000 euros here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? live trivia show. So ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. Thank you very much for taking a part here. Well, surely don't forget to check out Adventures Beyond the Wonderlands live and I'll catch you after three hours on the next show. So thank you very much once again and see you later. Bye-bye.